From the beginning of 2018 through the end of 2021, Tesla stock was one of the hottest things on the stock market. If you had put $10,000 into Tesla stock at the beginning of 2018, it would have been worth almost $200,000 by the end of 2021. However, 2022 has been a completely different story. I'm filming this on the last market day of the year, but year to date, the stock is down 65%. And there's a lot of various theories on why this is. Among the most popular is that Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, has become distracted. He acquired Twitter for $44 billion, and he's kind of inserted himself into polarizing politics, possibly alienating some of his customer base and fan base. And he's also had to sell about $23 billion worth of Tesla stock so far. And this is putting downward pressure on the stock as well. In actuality, this has nothing to do with why Tesla stock fell in 2022. The real reason Tesla stock is down in 2022 is far more actionable for investors today going forward. Hi, my name is John Quast. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel, Working Capital. In this channel, we talk about all things money and then also about how to take action. So to understand why Tesla stock is down, let's first talk about what went right in 2021 leading up to this year. Right at the very end of 2020, really the beginning of 2021, Tesla was added to the S&P 500. Now the S&P 500 is a collection of the largest US-based stocks. Typically, a company like Tesla would have been added way before in its history. However, Tesla was not profitable and it became a $600 billion company before it actually met the profitability requirements to be added to the S&P 500. And so when it was added, this created a whole new buyer base for Tesla stock. Tesla stock had to be added to all of the derivatives, the exchange traded funds, the mutual funds that track the S&P 500. Those institutions had to purchase shares of Tesla and it was expensive because it was already a $600 billion company. That created a firm foundation for the stock. Also, let's give credit where credit is due. Tesla had an amazing year in 2021. Revenue was up 71% compared to 2020. And this is notable because the legacy automakers that Tesla's competing with have a hard time sourcing all the components that they needed to make vehicles. They had shortages and Tesla did not have those problems and was able to fill the gap and grow its market share by an incredible rate. That attracted a certain kind of investor. Investors have been enthralled with high growth opportunities in recent years. And since Tesla was such a good growth stock, it attracted all sorts of investors to the stock. Now, as I said at the outset, the reason that it's down in 2022 has nothing to do with what Elon Musk is doing, or very little at least. Author Morgan Housel in his book, The Psychology of Money says, we prefer simple stories, which are easy but often devilishly misleading. I think that's the case here with Tesla as well. We prefer simple explanations for what's going on when in reality the explanation is far more complex. What's missed in all of this is what was driving Tesla so much in 2021, and it was actually options trading. Options are a contract between a buyer and a seller to sell 100 shares of a stock at a pre-agreed upon price at a pre-agreed upon time. The thing is, most of the time, there's an equal balance between what's called put options, which is basically a bet that the stock will go down, and call options, bets that the stock will go up. If a stock price does not reach the pre-agreed upon price, the option expires worthless. And in fact, most of the time, options do expire worthless. However, in Tesla's case, it was going up really fast, and as those options were expiring, they were expiring with profits. And the options traders were able to take those profits and then throw them back into buying more call options of Tesla. At one point, there was 18 times more call options being bought than put options. In other words, investors were incredibly, incredibly bullish. When there's such an imbalance between call options and put options, the deal makers have to actually buy shares of the underlying asset, in this case, Tesla. They have to buy it in case those options do expire in the money and they have to deliver the shares. It's a form of hedging. So what was going on was a gamma squeeze 
is as it's known for the buying of the call options and then gamma hedging on the other end. Some analysts did actually notice this towards the end of 2021 and began warning investors that this was a bubble that would eventually pop. And indeed that is eventually what happened. Proverbs 2620 says, for lack of wood, the fire goes out. This verse is talking about interpersonal conflict, but it has application here as well. The wood that was fueling the fire for Tesla was all the new money from the call options that were expiring with profits. And as soon as that stopped happening, as soon as options started expiring worthless, there was less wood to continue throwing on the fire. And eventually that driver of the stock price stopped and the stock began to fall. Basically, what I'm saying here is that Tesla stock was a bubble. It was pushed to an incredibly unreasonable valuation of almost 30 times its sales. I'm not here to say that Tesla stock should trade at the same valuation as legacy automakers. That would be outrageous. Tesla has much higher growth and better gross margins. So that is deserving of a premium valuation. However, at 30 times sales, Tesla stock traded at its highest valuation it had ever traded at. And the thing is, bubbles pop. Turning back to Morgan Housel, he writes something very interesting about bubbles in his book, The Psychology of Money. Housel writes, bubbles do their damage when long-term investors playing one game start taking their cues from those short-term traders playing another. Short-term traders don't really care what the valuation is because they don't plan on holding the stock for very long. What would motivate a long-term investor to start taking cues from a short-term trader? Well, I think it's as Charlie Munger says, he says that the world is not driven by greed, it's driven by envy. You see, the thing is, when you see other investors winning at this game of investing, and you're not participating for whatever reason, be it valuation or something else, it's only natural human behavior that you would start to say, maybe I'm missing out, I don't wanna miss out anymore, I'm going to make the money that there is to be made, and start taking your cues from other investors who are actually playing a fundamentally different game from you. And that's really the takeaway of this video. There's always going to be a bubble forming somewhere in the stock market. In 2021, I believe it was definitely Tesla. And that bubble has popped here in 2022. In 2023, I don't know where the bubble will be, but I do know that there will be a bubble somewhere. And it's really important to understand your own psychology and what is going to drive your investing decisions. Are you going to buy whatever stock is hot just because other people are making money in it? Or are you going to learn what it takes to be a long-term investor and go ahead and shut off your emotions to what everyone else around you is doing, stay the course to what your own own financial plan dictates. Anyway, thank you for watching this video on Tesla. I hope that it was valuable for you. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.